Hey guys, this is Tian with Vernus. Welcome back to the channel. I have a quick update for you today. I did have another video that was more interesting out on the course, throwing some discs around, playing a few holes. However, the memory card got corrupted, so therefore I lost all that footage and I could not revive it. So I'm in the office now, and I wanted to get an update up to you uh, to you as quickly as possible before the next few videos. Um, I do have some up upcoming bags that are on their way right now. This table is usually stacked up high with all the bags that I have reviewed and used. And these are the bags that I have left that I really like, so I kept them. The other bags are either sold off or donated. Um, but these are the bags I have left. This is the Freed 2. This is the Lore. The one back there is Stan's bag, um, so that doesn't count. And then I have an Octohall, Octothorpe, and a Simeon bag that I have kept for my personal stash. Um, but I do have two bags, possibly three, that are on their way for the channel that I'm going to be reviewing next. I still have the list of all the bags that you guys have either commented or privately messaged me. I have a list, an ongoing list on that. Um, so um, this is the first time I've decided to actually try to reach out to some manufacturers and I've actually only reached out to one this year. Uh, this would be the first manufacturer that I'm trying to work with to get a bag. So I'm actually pretty excited about that to get a bag for review. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but uh, my understanding is that those bags are on their way. So once they get here, I will tell you more in details. But as of right now, I don't know as many de details as I would like. Uh, my form changed. I did start a video back in, I want to say November. I did one video letting you guys know that I'm doing a form change. And I want to go into details why that video was posted back then. I haven't posted anything between then because it's really boring. I even find practice boring. But I have been doing practice every single day, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 3 hours. I have recorded some of that footage. I will try to compile all of it before my first tournament, basically when springtime comes. But my form has changed drastically since, and my back, therefore my back has changed. So all my discs, 90% of them have changed, um, primarily because of grip and comfort in my hand. I have evolved as a golfer and I got a bunch of discs for Christmas and it opened up a lot of things for me because I've been throwing disc craft since I started playing disc golf back in, I want to say 2008. So that's all I've been throwing. I actually started in 2002, but I didn't really like play full time till 2008. So at the time we only had Innova or disc craft. Those are only two main manufacturers and I chose disc craft because everyone was throwing Innova. Anyways, uh, my bag has evolved. I finally, I'm down to one Discraft mold, only because the new plastic for Discraft is really bothersome to me. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go in details all of this in another video. But that's what's happening, and then my back has changed, and it's mostly due to my form and my um, evolution in the golf uh, like adventure, the golf journey that I've gone. I've been on. Speaking of golf content, I want to add more this season. So in between bag videos, I want to add more golf content. I know there's a tons of golf content out there right now, but there, for me, there's not a lot for women because every golf content video that I watch, people are, it's usually male, first of all, or a pro female player who throws much farther than I can. And so I feel the, the women's amateur section of the online golf YouTube content, there isn't a lot to choose from. And I could be wrong, I, I've been scouring to trying to find all the small channels to watch as much as possible, but I feel like I want to add to that portion, small portion of the community, which is the female amateur. I am rated F FA1. Um, I'm, I'm not by any means the top five, and I'm not by any means like the bottom section of the FA1 like rankings. I'm kind of like towards the bottom, but not too far to the bottom. But my goal, that just means I have an opportunity to work up to the top five in my local area. So I want to bring content revolving around that. I want to bring disc reviews from an FA1 standpoint or just a female amateur standpoint. I also have a friend who is an MA3 and him and I have decided that we're going to go uh, competitive with each other this summer so that we're going to push each other to get better this, this summer. Obviously, it's friendly competition, but at the same time, we want to get better. And the only way to get better is to push each other and play against other people who are better than us. 
Um, and one of the videos that we want to do is I want to swap bags with him because he throws really, really far and I don't throw that far. But I want to see how good of a golfer he is if he throws with very understable discs, which is my bag. And I want to see how good my form and my game has come along throwing more overstable discs and see if I can play a game around with just overstable discs, which is what his bag is mostly made of. At least compared to my form. And then I want to do also course reviews. So I have, um, I live in an area where there's a lot of cool courses in the northern central Illinois area. And I want to showcase that on my channel because I feel like there's a lot of videos from Charlotte, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maine, New Jersey, Colorado, and a lot from Arizona. And I feel like there are a lot of very cool courses. And I feel like we can say that about every state we live in, right? There's cool courses in every state we live in. And the same thing with other countries. I do talk to some people from other countries and they've shown me pictures of some of their courses and it's gorgeous. And I want to kind of showcase that of my local courses on my channel to kind of like put it out there. And then I mentioned disc reviews and so I want to start doing disc reviews because um, if we're going to do bag, these things hold discs all day. So I would like to add disc reviews and I want to kind of like trying to figure out how to do it different from most of the other channels because like I said, the other channels talk a lot about, you know, they get discs and they review it and a lot of times um, they throw so far and I don't throw that far. So I want to bring content where, hey, I'm only throwing, I'm throwing under less than, under 300 feet. What would a disc like XYZ do for me who's for someone with this arm speed? So I want to bring that to the to the to the channel and then I'll do a separate video on my thoughts on my discs that I have so far that I have acquired and what discs have changed to and why and uh, I don't know maybe that's something that will help you guys and will not it's just extra content for the channel while I'm waiting for the next set of bags and while I decide which bag to do review next and which segment of bags because I have an, um, my first bag under $100 is on its way and I'm going to talk about the company that makes it once I get those bags in. But right now I don't have a lot of information until that arrives. And then once that bag comes in, it's going to start a whole segment of bags under $100. And this year I just want to focus on that. If there's going to be premium bags that trickle in and release throughout the year, obviously I'm going to look at those, but I don't have a whole segment of that on my channel. So I want to work on that and focus on that this year. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to get, give you guys an update on and uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful win winter. It should get nice pretty soon here, so I'll have more video of my rounds on the course and you'll see kind of how my form has evolved and I'm going to do a whole video like comparing from the beginning and the awful <laughs> form video that you saw in the beginning that was hard to watch for me um, and then where I am now in terms of my form. All right, I will see you guys later. I, that was the only update I needed to give you guys uh, that I wanted to give you guys. So um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.